and welcome back to my channel health tutorial in this video today i am going to tell you how to simulate drop control strategy or method of an inverter generally we know that the drop control strategy widely used in case of when we operate inverters in parallel and especially for grid forming purpose we use drop control strategy and the basic fundamental behind a drop control strategy is that it regulates frequency and voltage of an inverter when there will be changes in the load connected to it so when we are changing the load that means there will be variation of active power and reactive power and according to this the inverter should increase or decrease the generated frequency or voltage. So this purpose easily can be done by adopting drop control strategy. So this is a very important topic in terms of microgrid application when you are going to do research on microgrid. So now in this video we will discuss today how to simulate drop control strategy so in this video i will take one simple inverter means three phase inverter and it will simply fed one or two load and here we will implement drop control strategy and we will check whether the inverter following drop control strategy or not and in the later stage we will operate this inverter with identical similar inverter in parallel and then also we will check the feasibility of drop control strategy okay so in this way we will progress this video series of drop control strategy and this video will come in different parts okay so first part will be the plant implementation then controller implementation so let's start plant implementation so this is matlab you are very well known okay so this is the power gui i have taken so go to the model setting inside this you just take fixed step okay and fixed step size i have taken here that is 1 e power minus 6 okay so do this setting and start your simulation so very first for an inverter which the thing required that is a dc source okay so take one dc source from a specialized microgrid uh, specialized library okay so this is the dc voltage source rename this one as vdc okay and give the value here that is 800 800 dc volt we will take now search one universal bridge okay take one universal bridge double click on this and select here igbt diode and just apply clip it and connect to this dc source here Okay. Now, right here, three phase phase inverter. Okay. Now take one VI measurement block. Okay, three phase VI measurement block. Double click on this. I don't want to measure here. Okay, we can take no problem face to face voltage use some level like this b1 i will make the name of this one as b1 current also we want to measure so this current name also i will rename as b1 okay rename this one as b1 okay now make it a little bit smaller connect it 
and double click on this again. Now right click on this again and make it black color. Okay. Now same thing we will do here two more time. So I will just simply copying and pasting here. Okay. So inside this here I will take face to ground okay and this one should be b3 okay and this will be inside the filter so here also i am doing some naming so this is should be face to face this is b2 this is also B2, just apply. Okay, so it's not like, now here we will connect one LCL filter, okay? So to create LCL filter, first I will take one RLC branch, okay? RLC series branch and select this one and create one subsystem, okay? Rename this one as LCL filter. Okay, and take this one inside this. So control X and place here. Now you do some this type of connectivity arrangement and place here. I will delete it and I will connect it again. Now make it RL. This one should be very smaller value. Okay. And this one 1.2 e power minus 3. And rename this one as inverter side inductor. Okay. Place like this. Now, again, copy this and paste here. Rename this one as grid side inverter. So, L, G. Double click on this and modify this value to 0.6 e power minus 3. Okay. Okay. Now I will do some arrangement here. So copy paste three times. Okay. Now just make it like this. So this is uh, face A. This will be face B and face C. Now take this RLC circuit again, RLC branch, RLC branch again, okay, rotate it and rename this one as RD comma CF. Double click on this and make it RC circuit this value 1 okay and this value should be 80 e power minus 6 now connect it copy and paste two more time okay 
now connect this side also yes so lcl filter design over so let make it little bit bigger okay so that easily it can be connected okay so one thing i forget to tell you here so the calculation whatever the calculation i am going to take here that will be for i am writing here inverter rating rating will be 100 kva okay 400 volt 50 hertz okay so based on this rating only i have calculated the filter okay this lcl filter so there are many things to consider while designing LCL filter and which I have discussed in my earlier video. If you want to learn about that, you can go and simply use the formula and you will require to do very uh, smaller adjustment on that and you can get whatever the values I have gave here that will work perfectly for your design. Okay. Now for this one, here it is face to ground. Okay, that's good. Now we will connect one load. So take one load. Okay. Series RLC load we will take. Not this one, three phase we have to take. Three phase load. Three phase load I have to take here. This one. So rotate it and make it this one as suppose I am going to consider this one is 20 K plus 5 K. Okay. So take this one as Z. Or reactive power okay so accordingly we can manage here so line to line voltage is 400 volt okay frequency is 50 hertz so here we can consider this one is 20 e power 6 and this one is 5 e power 3 and capacitive load is 0 just apply click ok now to connect with this we will require one breaker so take one three phase breaker three phase breaker okay connect this three phase breaker here with the load and with the inverter terminal output output terminal Okay, in the same way, we can have one more inverter, sorry, one more load. So for that, just simply we can copy and paste here I can, and we can connect. So simply copy and paste and rename.
So this one, suppose I will take 2 e power 3, sorry, 2 k reactive power, and this one we can have 10 k active power. Okay, so similarly here inside this also we have to modify. So here you can make 10 and here we can make 2. So let's connect it. Okay, so now the plant portion is over, but still we have to do some work here. Like uh, we want to operate, means we want to connect and disconnect. Okay, so for that we will, uh, here we can take external control. Okay, so click okay. And this one also we want external control. So take one constant. Now connect it here. So if you will give here zero, it will become open. If you will give one, it will, will be closed. So like that, it will operate. So initially I will keep it zero and this one also zero. Okay, so now the plant portion is over next we will design the controller and there we have to consider many things okay so that i will discuss in the next part of this video thank you for watching my video